Oh my god, nothing like drinking Advil with hot coffee, like straight out of the pipe. Yep, haven't cleaned the house yet, still fishing. Little backstory, uh, I am uh, kind of irritated this morning. I know, salt gun. And if, let me just make a disclaimer. If you guys don't have a salt gun, what are you doing on the weekends, okay? If I'm not fishing, I'm just walking around the house shooting everything. Last night, sitting right here, right after fishing, editing videos. So this is where I sat last night. One of the OGs in the channel, I think it's like free angler, free agent angler or something like that on YouTube. He hit me up last night, asked him where I was. Boom, right there, making this video and uh, chatting with you on YouTube. Sitting right there last night, I get up and wouldn't you know it, they shut my water off yesterday while I was fishing. Yeah, I've been here, this is my first week in here. I got no water. I don't know where the damn valve is on the street because they don't have the valves on the street. So there must be like a main shut off somewhere. But anyways, that's my drama. I had to get water out of my truck to make coffee this morning. And yeah, uh, I used my remaining water in my toilet to go pee. So yeah, and I'm drinking coffee this morning. And what do you think is gonna happen after you drink coffee in the morning, Case? <laughs> so I'm probably gonna have to go out in the Delta with a five gallon bucket of water and uh, fill up my toilet. So uh, yeah, I can actually use it right now. Anyways, let's go uh, put the kayak in, go bass fishing, do the damn thing. And uh, I'll hit you guys up on the boat ramp. Let's do it. I've been on the road. I've been doing shows. You need to talk about service, you know what I mean? Hook me up. <laughs> I appreciate my it. My job's all about greeting people and making them feel welcome. Yeah. This is like a dream job. I mean, as long as you're making money, it's a dream job. Perfect for me. All right, brother. Have fun out there. Thank you. Casey, yep. All right, guys, back on the Delta. Just left the Holland Holland Riverside Marina. The guy in there is David, super chill dude. Uh, we're gonna come out of this ramp and uh, head this way. A lot of grass, a lot of stuff, uh, similar to the marina by the house. He said the, basically the same thing, punch, chatterbait, and uh, I think the wacky worm, and I'm still a believer in the swim bait, so I'm not gonna let up on that. But uh, yeah, everything looks prime. All this like little grass you can punch in. Um, I'm not a big fan of throwing around docks just because I don't want to get into it with people. If I'm struggling with fishing, you bet your sweet ass we're going to be throwing in those docks. But for right now, super calm through here, no boats. And uh, yeah, let's uh, see if we can get on a couple bass. My, well, my first bass on the Delta, that would be a, that'd be a treat. And hopefully it's a decent size and not like a one footer. Chatterbait from the last video. This is what you're dealing with out here. I can already tell you guys by just throwing a couple throws, this is way cleaner than fishing that harbor and uh, off, I think it was Russo's launch ramp in Beth Island. Whew, that's like almost impossible to fish. It was just that moss grass everywhere, every cast, moss, moss, moss. And uh, there's a reason why, because no one's fishing over there. <laughs> this is actually a really chill spot. There's no one here. Uh, it's beautiful. I love the Delta so far. Haven't caught a fish yet. A kid in town actually makes these. So uh, I bought a handful off of him. So these chatterbaits look money, super chill. He's going to college, so uh, I supported him on that. Oh my God. <laughs> That's wild. That is a huge sea lion. Well, definitely don't get sea lions in Arizona. So that's something new I'm gonna have to get used to. Make sure uh, that seal doesn't jump on my kayak. God, that was like mud soup. I think it's on my face.
covering some ground. I don't really know where I'm at. I made a left this morning, went back, made a right, came over in this direction. This grass is pretty much unpunchable. It is so thick and this stuff is by my house and usually this stuff is submerged underwater when the water level is up. So I'm guessing this whole area should be underwater. I don't know if you guys can see the rock line behind me. See how it's like super dark? We're missing about like four to five foot of water in here. So I'm sure all this island right here is usually submerged. I'm just gonna keep running these grass lines with the chatterbait and that's all I can do. I haven't seen anything. I've seen two fish come up and swipe at it. But other than that, obviously you guys know, I haven't caught a thing. So <laughs> we'll just keep doing this until uh, I figure out how to fish here. Uh. So yeah, let's get back to it. <laughs> are freaking out right now all right boys well double skunky okay two days in a row skunk fest these are all like recon missions i'm going to all the boat docks all the ramps and everything just checking out the area uh kind of heard the same from all the other boaters like one boat might have caught one you know you got those onesie twosies i got to meet some of the guys at the boat ramp when i was leaving a lot of boats were actually showing up and that was at four o'clock and they said the tide is rising. So that's when they're going out. So I'm like, okay, I need to fish in high tide and low tide must just suck. But I don't know what's going on. I have a lot to learn up here in the Delta. But what's cool is we got to see some sea lions. I got to see some live and dead sea lions, which is completely insane to me. All the locals around here hate the sea lions. I mean, how much damage do you think that one sea lion can do in just eating up all the fish in the area? When we launched over there, there was probably like six, I want to say like whatever, thousand pound sea lions in that one area. They probably eat up everything in that one spot. So I'm sure everybody around here hates them. Everybody on the Delta are all fishing people and I couldn't love it more. Every second of every minute you turn around, some guy's got a bass boat, some guy's got fishing rods. This whole area is nothing but bass fishing. And this is like bass fishing heaven. So yeah, hopefully next weekend we can put something together and actually catch a Northern California bass and uh, yeah, put something on the scoreboard and get in the swing of things and figure everything out. But uh, appreciate you guys watching. Catch you guys next weekend. Peace.